Welcome to New Mexico Black Rifle Operators Union. I'm your host, Sean. So, with the big bombshell from yesterday about censorship and everything else, I thought it would be a good plan to focus a little bit more on freedom lately. With that in mind, I wanted to talk about some good news, in my opinion, uh, and some bad news. Um, I don't know if it's really bad anymore. So, first off, I've said this before, and I continue to say this, that gun control is dead, and has long since been dead. And I have the receipts to back it up. Okay, being an IT guy, I know a lot about where technology is right now. And I can tell you for a fact that 3D printing, um, the maker community, um, and devices like I'm showing you right now on the screen from Ghost Gunner. Okay, this is actually the Ghost Gunner 3. And it allows you to do a lot more milling and machining to manufacture or customize or do whatever you need to do for freedom. Now, why is this important? Okay, this has been a, a heated thing on Twitter lately uh, since Elon took over. And now that we're finding out that the federal government is swaying public opinion... It doesn't take a rocket scientist to think that they've swayed it against the 2A. And as I've advocated many times before that free men don't ask permission, this is the ultimate do not ask permission. Making firearms at home is an American tradition. I've talked about it at Infinim on this podcast. But this gives it to someone gives that ability to someone who wouldn't normally be able to. Granted, it is expensive. Uh, this thing, I believe, uh, oh, you can reserve them. But last time I saw one, they were about two to three thousand um, dollars. Maybe that's not the case anymore for the older ones. Um, but why am I excited about this? Oh, $500 uh, for the deposit. So it's probably going to be 1000 bucks. Okay. Why would you invest in this? Um, if you've checked out TFTB, uh, TFB Outdoors, I think it is what it is, TFTB. Anyway, it's got James Reeves on it. He covered this uh, exact device. And I love Ghost... I follow Ghost Gunner on Twitter. And these guys along with Firearms uh, Policy Coalition, they are dyed-in-the-wool 2A advocates. Um, I am looking at supporting them in any way I can. That's why I'm kind of shouting them out here. Um, I follow both of them on Twitter. But where this is going with this is think about this. They now have machines that you can plug into any laptop Download a file from a makerspace um, that are free use because most of these people that are designing and building these new firearms are able to build your own firearm at home. And it may or may not conform to any known form factor we've seen. Case in point, there are pictures circulating around the world right now of users that have... Uh, made a gun, a 9mm submachine gun, and they're in the UK, they were in France. The, what, the one guy that designed this particular gun, he was killed in a raid uh, because they consider this man that, or this technology, that dangerous. My point being, is this genie's out of the box. 3D printers are generations ahead of where they were before. And if you have someone who is very good at tuning your files to get those specifications you need for, say, you know, a magazine, enter what else I wanted to talk about, the bad news. So Delaware sets a date, a firm hard date, 
for you to turn in standard capacity magazines. Well, anyone in the 2A, uh, myself included, knows that an AR-15 magazine is just a box, a follower, a spring, and something to close the box. I am going to guess, because I know that one of the most popular manufacturers of magazines and supporter of the 2A, Magpul Industries, has files that they used to prototype with. And it would be remiss to think that they wouldn't have leaked this or maybe shared dimensions or someone took a simple caliper to one of their magazines, talked to the right people, and built the file. Now, how are you going to ban information? Well, that's what Twitter and the federal government have colluded to do. We find all this out a week before midterm elections. Vote accordingly. And if you were a toss-up between, say, a libertarian and someone who was with a party that you're not really, really happy with, but they have a chance at actually doing something, not saying they will, but at least it's better than no chance at all, maybe it's time to vote strategically. I've already voted. Um, people are going to say, well, that's how the early vote is how they mess it up. No, the early vote is actually how they can you can follow verifiable paper trails a hell of a lot easier. Because my signature is there. I have a set date that I went and I know I personally went, just like you would on election day. I can follow that paper trail after you guys do your thing. When you cast your ballot, it goes... They voted at this polling place election day. Well, guess where I voted? The county clerk's office. I know for a fact San Juan County Clerk is very reputable. And I know for a fact that they would have to do something globally bad for her to not find it. Because she will check and make sure our elections are legit. You may not like the results... But this is how people voted. And that's the one place left that people can cast off the woke crap and vote their heart, their wallet, and their conscience. And their brain, hopefully. So while you see people tightening down all these new regulations like Delaware, and you know for a fact that the federal government is now stirring opinion and we have been one of the most demonized group, oppressed groups, as their new terminology in the woke vernacular would say, and we have been that way for over 20 years, you know they've been weaponizing this stuff against us. Now's the time to take it back. How do you take it back? I don't know. Technology like ghostgun.com is uh, promoting and... Uh, selling legitimately and legally um, might get around some of this. Learning some technology skills, uh, like how to install a printer, um, maybe going and finding some of these maker spaces just to talk to some dudes and some ladies and find out what you can do to get around this stuff. Now, I'm not encouraging you to get around anything, but I am telling you that free men, and I say men as in like everyone, the human race, don't ask permission. And it's way past time. And taking notes from the marijuana community as it's been legalized in half the states in the United States, just like uh, constitutional carry, hey, New Mexico... If we get rid of Grisham, let's talk about that. Um, that means it's the consensus of the land, whether we like it or not. Now we can talk about the crime stuff, that they seem to have a correlation. I think that's more correlation than causation, to be honest. 
because what happens in those areas, I think, are that the blue guys take over, they get this pass, because a lot of people nowadays are like, eh, what's the big deal? I, I did it in high school. Okay, so there's a stigma that's going away with that. Okay, You could compromise on this issue and get maybe more budget for other issues you need or would like for your districts. Or you could push it and say, eh, no. And then the potential that you could actually reward or actually fund those projects you're looking at, like education and roads, huh? state government, it makes sense that that's why marijuana is getting more popular. Okay. Let's take a page from their handbook. How do we do it? We make it so culturally significant that it's everywhere. Okay. We need this to be as mainstream as possible. That means spreading freedom everywhere. How do you spread freedom? Give the technology out. Show people what to do. Installing a printer isn't hard. And uh, no offense to my friends in the uh, 2A community, there's a lot of us redneck guys out there. <laughs> or I'm not one of them. I can't, I can't say that because I'm a tech guy. Um, that aren't tech guys that have figured this out already. Okay? This isn't rocket science. And one of my favorite gun manufacturers, Palmetto State Armory, all-American, lifetime warranty. They're not giving me anything, but I use their product because I like their motto, and that's maximizing freedom in the United States. How do you do it? You spread it everywhere. Rumble, share, subscribe, be great.